Thank you, baby. I type in a few key words and up pops this uh, page that says uh, seven things the father of the bride must include in his speech or his toast. And I start to read through them, and most of it was the common sense stuff, like, uh, you know, greet your folks, introduce yourself. And I start reading down, and it gets to the bride. <clears throat> Where are you supposed to speak about your daughter? Can I read through it? <clears throat> I'm going to try and hold it together. I read through it, it, it says, Skip the accolades, skip the education, skip the degrees, skip how wonderful she is, and uh, try and stick to something a little lighthearted. Uh, tell the story about her, something from her childhood, uh, somewhere when she was growing up, high school or college. I thought, well, great. And then it got to a part where it said, keep it kind of funny. I said, well, that, that gave me plenty of material. <laughs> so I begin writing, I'm pulling up a page, I'm getting kind of excited. I get to the end of that kind of giggling as I go along. And I get to the end, I turn back to the professionals, Google, that is. <laughs> and I continue reading in bold letters, it says, whatever you do, keep it clean. <laughs> and well, okay. And it says, uh, keep it PG. I'm thinking, well, I can do that. And it says, most importantly of all, don't embarrass your daughter. And I'm thinking, what does this guy know about being funny? <laughs> this is kind of ruined it for me. But I'll tell you a quick story uh, that, that really stands out in my mind. Megan was home one weekend from college, and uh, I think we had run like a warrior dash, and I might have a date sometimes and things wrong, but... Uh, I was taking her back to school, and her and it was just her and I, and we jumped in the car and uh, began our road trip, and we like to jam the radio and have some fun. And we're rolling up Highway 26, and I think we pretty much listened to every One Direction song there ever was. And we hit Highway 40, and that's, I think, when we put on our furry Viking hats and entertained all the passing traffic. Because we do like to have a good time. And then I look over after a little while, things got quiet, and there was my baby girl sound asleep. And some of you might know this story. At my house, we kind of have a rule. If you fall asleep before 8 o'clock, you are a victim. That's just what it is. <clears throat> so I'm looking at my baby girl, and the whole time I'm thinking to myself, Oh, I'm going to do something. <laughs> oh, I'm going to do something good. I've been watching YouTube videos. I love YouTube. <laughs> and they have like this, thousands of videos on how people, drivers, terrify their passengers. <clears throat> and this was off the tin time. I see this sign. This says tunnel three miles ahead. And just the light bulbs are going off. And I'm, I'm sort of giggling to myself as I drive along, but I'm trying not to wake her because it would just ruin everything. And as we're approaching the tunnel, I can see it in the distance. I reach over to my sweet baby girl and I grab her. And I yell, Tunnel! And she comes flying up out of her seat with the most terrified look on her face. And I know. I know now I have succeeded. I am full of glee. I am so happy. You just don't even know. What I wasn't expecting is what happened next. We entered the tunnel, and I learned later there's two types of people that react two different ways when they're frightened. There's those that take flight, and there's those that fight. <laughs> Stephen, you got a fighter on your hands. <laughs> she attacks me. <laughs> As we're entering a dark tunnel, four lanes of traffic, <clears throat> and I don't mean playfully attacking you. She starts punching me in the arm. I'm trying to keep control of the vehicle. And I tell you that story just, it always makes me laugh. It always makes me smile every time I think about it. That road trip. Um, was a memory I'll hold near and dear to my heart. Just like the road trip that started the first day I ever held him. 
and brought us to this day. I love you very much, Sue. Now it's your turn, Stephen. <laughs> Apparently the same rules apply. I gotta keep it PG. I gotta keep it clean. And I'm not supposed to embarrass you. It didn't leave me anything on time. <laughs> I had no material. But no, honestly, I want I wanted to take this time to publicly thank you for showing uh, my wife and I great respect. Uh, how you you've really blended with the family. Uh, Amen. Really put forth the effort to uh, to be a part to be a part of us. And I know sometimes we. I thought you were busy. <laughs> can be a bit overwhelming. You've done a great job. We, we do. We love you to death. And, uh, we're glad you're uh, uh, a part of the family. Welcome. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> 